Okay, been working on this SB620 pan adapter. Trying to get the uh, horizontal to cover the bottom of the screen. Get the pip to center up and all that. Variable sweeps at minimum, variable sweep width is at maximum. And we can open this thing up. The pip stays pretty much where it's supposed to stay. So that's all good. And uh, right now we're putting in uh, 3.395 megahertz, which is the IF frequency, at one millivolt of input to this thing. We're in the linear scale. And the radio's running in the background, but that's okay, it's a radio shack. And over here on the oscilloscope, we're looking at the ramp by uh, tapping in here at uh, some resistors, uh, R67, R68. You can see down here, they're the new shiny blue ones, little metal film resistors at 220 ohms, kilo ohms each. They replaced uh, some that had aged out to 700 kilo ohms and and 380 kilo ohms, so they were off balance and way out of uh, rating. It has new capacitors in it from uh, a hayseed capacitor kit. And I replaced the neon tube with the new one. Uh, it wasn't quite right, it was an 83A that was in there, I just have an 83. I originally replaced it with an NE2, which really improved the sweep, but it still didn't give me the horizontal a width that I needed and the NA83 did. I also replaced it up here in the uh, power supply with a new uh, NE83. Quite a few folks suggested that that wasn't going to be necessary but I believe those tubes had served their time. So anyway that's what's going on and if you look at this you can see what the voltage setups are. And it's a little goofy to me because when I do the variable sweep thing, I would have expected a more linear response on this. I'm turning that screw now, reducing the bandwidth. And as you can imagine, I turned that pretty much uniform and this thing actually moved rather quickly and I'm going slow enough to allow the sweep to update. So it's like my potentiometer doesn't really track in a linear fashion. In fact, when I get almost closed on this potentiometer, the last eighth of a turn makes all that much difference. Boom. So it goes from like 400 uh, kilohertz of bandwidth down to about 20 or 40, something like that. I'd have to play with that a little bit more. But anyway, it does work. It allows you to see stuff that's, uh, that's wide. Here we're looking at wide, and here we're looking at a narrow band width, and as you can see the pip widened out, and our variable sweep weight rate can be uh, picked up, and if it were darker in here it would look better. But with the new NE83 tubes I'm getting a much brighter trace. The uh, old NE83 tubes would build a ramp and then there would be a long delay before the ramp started again and that allowed the trace to deteriorate quite a bit before it was refreshed. And as you can see over here, trace is constantly being refreshed, giving us a nicer, brighter display on the old 620 pan adapter. At least that's my take on it. I think it still could use a little more care, especially on that variable sweep width adjustment. Not real satisfied with that. Not real sure what to think about that. I'll look over here on the schematic at it and there it is. It's uh, right there and it's got a variac over here. I think that has more to do with the pip center frequency though to get stuff lined out on the pip center. But this all interplays with it and the horizontal width and all of that to try to get the thing adjusted. Kind of been having fun with it. I sure appreciate all the help that I've gotten from the Heathkit owners group. This thing is just like looking at a big spider web of spaghetti inside.
Yep. Okay, that's enough video.